You know, one of the best parts about being a Reactor user is the absolutely fanatical user base. Reactor users love to interact with one another. They love to share their creations, to encourage one another, to share ideas. And they do this in the context of the Reactor forums and in the context of the Reactor user library. Now, the Reactor user library is something truly unique, uh, I think, in the world of uh, music production software, just because of the breadth and the depth of what you have. You have people uploading their own creations. Uh, all of these are free for download. Many of them are absolutely top quality creations. Uh, and just the amount of interaction that takes place around these is something that is really wonderful to behold. But first things first, you want to get to the user library just by going to the Native Instruments website, going to Community, uh, User Libraries, and Reactor User Library. Now, you'll need your uh, Native Instruments credentials to log in here. But once you do so, you can do any number of things. You can check out instruments kind of by category here. You see at left we have categories of instruments. We have synth, samplers, sequencers, and other effects. And we have an other section as well that, uh, that has all sorts of uh, different wonderful creations for you to use. You can also search by developer. So you can search for a developer that you know, whose uh, material you know that you really like. You can, of course, upload your own creations here. Uh, you can sort by uh, the most downloaded, most downloaded in the last three months, best rated of all time, and best rated in the last uh, three months. This is constantly updated as people upload their own creations. And to, uh, to access an individual ensemble, you can, of course, download straight from the listing at the top level of the user library. You can also uh, click on it to get into a more interactive experience where you see the ratings. In this case, it's Danny J. Lewis's Deep House Chord Stab Synth. I can attest that this is an absolutely fantastic ensemble. You see that people rate them, uh, the ensembles. They, uh, they leave their own comments. There's a lot of interaction here. There are a lot of great ideas that come out of the community. Uh, and then, of course, to download, you would simply click on this download button. Uh, and locate the ensemble within your file system and then you'd be off to the races. So it's as easy as that. Now in the next section we're going to take a look at a few different ensembles just to give you a sense of the range of what we're talking about here in the Reactor User Library and why this is really such a special thing. Now how about a few suggestions for getting started with the Reactor User Library? This is Igor Shilov's Flakes. It's an interactive granular sample mangler. It allows you to kind of reimagine loops and samples by dividing loops into various scenes and then allowing you to set parameters per scene. In action, it looks like this. If I switch over to Reactor, I see it here. Uh, we have our scenes represented by various colors. If I get the system clock running, we can see when those scenes are active. We can scan through here. Just enormous potential. Igor has also included a lot of info hints uh, for getting us up and running on this. This I know to be a favorite in the techno community, uh, and it has really taken on a life of its own. It's kind of a legendary reactor ensemble from the user library. Now, if you're at all inclined to the deeper, more soulful side of things, you definitely want to check out Danny J. Lewis's Deep House Chord Stab Synth. This is ideal for those one finger chord stabs. Uh, it produces very lush, organic sounds, and uh, it sounds like this. So this is a, one of the wonderful parts about Reactor is that you can create ensembles that are for specific purposes, as Danny J. Lewis has done with this one. So check this out if you're on the deeper side of things. Finally, let's take a look at a sequencer. In this case, Antonio Blanca's Node E 2D Note Generator. This is a fascinating and innovative way of looking at sequencing. In Node E, a ribbon of nodes travels throughout a box and triggers notes when certain conditions are met. Let's have a listen. So thanks for joining me for this five minute tour of the Reactor User Library. I hope I managed to convince you that this is something truly extraordinary. It's a wonderful thing to be a part of, and I encourage you to go in there and check it out, leave comments, leave feedback, upload your own creations, and just have a great time. That's what it's all about, guys. All right, take care.